In this video, we'll learn how to set powerful goals the smart way. Goal setting is important because it provides focus and lets you work towards long-range goals. And while you work towards those long-range goals, you learn how to get past the short-range obstacles on the way. So, goal setting is imperative for individuals, people, team players, coaches, and corporations that wish to succeed. In fact, it's for everyone who wants to set themselves up for success. It could be anything basic from trying to lose weight, quit smoking, drinking enough water every day, to more elaborate schemes like improving your savings, buying a house, traveling to certain destinations, or even finding more time to spend with friends and family. But even this process demands a bit of structure. Simply setting a vague or broad goal and not knowing how to achieve it won't get you very far. So, make sure that your goals are specific, measurable, realistic, and a few other things. Plus, goals need to be something that motivates you. This means that it should be something that's important to you and there is a value on achieving it. If you have very little interest in the outcome or the goal is irrelevant, then it is not very likely that you will put in any real effort to achieve it. So, motivation is key to achieving goals. This makes goals relevant, so set them according to priorities in your life. If you do not prioritize, then you may up having too many goals, leaving you too little time to devote to each one. But before we look at the rules for successful goal setting, here's what goals are all about. Goals require action. In a nutshell, this point sums up the whole strategy to execution process. You have to take steps every day which bring you closer to what you have in your mind. Goals require deadlines. There has to be a time frame to deliver results. Goals have a price. Not necessarily a monetary price for everyone, but goals will need you to invest time and effort and other things you can think of. If you are a business, then yes, money and funding is kind of a big one here. Goals produce results. You have to be able to see progress along the way. If not, then your goal is probably not clear enough and you do not have the skills or knowledge to make it happen. Goals will challenge you. Nothing comes easy, so yes, there will probably be some hiccups along the way. If you're not being challenged, then perhaps your goals are not big enough. Goals require hard work. You have to be willing to work for what you want, since no one else will do it for you, pure and simple. Once you keep these guidelines in mind when setting your goals, your goals should come out as realistic, tangible expectations. And to accomplish your goals, you should know how to set them. Setting SMART goals. Setting SMART, S-M-A-R-T, goals is the way to make sure that your goals are all the things that will help you get to where you want to go. Here's what each letter of the word SMART signifies. S. Specific. Specific goals will give you direction. Vague goals will lead you nowhere. Ambiguous goals produce ambiguous results, whereas incomplete goals produce incomplete results. So, when setting goals, you need to be extremely clear to everyone, including yourself, as well as others. The goals should be specific by being exact, thorough, and adept at answering questions instead of creating more. Example, I should spend more time with the kids as opposed to I will read the kids a story every night before bed or we will bake something together every Saturday. The first example is too vague where you don't exactly know what you will do with the kids, but the second becomes more specific, identifying the kinds of activities you'll share with the children. Now you have a plan to work with. M. Measurable. This means including dates, amounts, and numbers in your goals. Such figures will also give you benchmarks to measure your success. Evaluating progress is helpful in keeping you stay focused, meeting deadlines, and feeling the thrill of getting closer to attaining your goals. Example, I want to lose weight. Too vague. But when the goal becomes, I want to lose 40 pounds by August 15th, it's more specific. You've just given yourself a measure of how much weight you'd like to lose along with a specific time. A. Attainable. Set an achievable goal that you can accomplish within the restrictions of money, time, skills, abilities, environment, and other relevant factors. It may stretch your potential but still be possible to achieve. 
Also, when you set an attainable goal, you can also recognize previously missed opportunities or resources. Example, I want to make clean eating a habit for life. But how do you attain this? I want to eat cleaner by resisting junk food, planning meals ahead of time, and eating only whole foods. By imposing some sensible restrictions on your dietary habits, you have made your goal more attainable. R. Relevant. Your goals should be aligned with the direction you are following in life. This means keeping goals true to your purpose and not wasting time with irrelevant goals. Keeping goals relevant helps you align focus instead of frittering your time away. Example, I want to quit smoking is too general. But when you set up the goal as, I want to quit smoking for improved health, it becomes relevant to why you want to do so. You may be doing so to improve heart health, respiratory health, or even to reduce internal inflammation. T, time-based. Every goal needs a delivery date, so there is a time frame to work within. An important component of execution is that the strategy should have an end, a time in which you are aiming to accomplish it. For better management of a big goal, you can also break it into different parts and time frames. It also creates accountability along with a sense of urgency and achievement that will come. Example, I want to create a website to sell jewelry from my store is just a simple goal. To make it smart, you need to work along the lines of, I want to create a website to sell jewelry from my store by January 31st. The website needs to be operational by the end of January so that I can sell special Valentine's items before Valentine's Day. I will use a website development company to create the site. Making a goal time specific may sometimes mean that you need to outsource some tasks like getting a website development company to work on it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.